Good morning! It's Wednesday and unfortunately I got to school yesterday and forgot my memory card again. I do not know what is wrong with me. I think it's, I don't know what it is. It's May and I'm <laughs> struggling. I'm on the struggle bus. But we are at school and Paisley is planting some watermelon seeds. Let me show you what I'm planting also. That she got from Walmart the other day. We are also planting oh yeah, lavender. Lavender. You can see the little seeds down here. It looks like that. See it? It looks like that. And then these are little seeds. And then I'm planting these watermelons. Focus. So I have two of these and one of the lavenders. And I brought some um, cucumber, oh. carrot, basil, and radish seeds for my students to plant for Mother's Day. And I have pots. And she has pots. And, and I'll show you what they look like. I made these little newspaper cups so they can just um, put them straight in the ground. So here they are. You can see they just tied some fabric around them. There's several in the window. And then these are extras that I made just in case we have some that don't grow. And then I have more over here. And I wanted to give you guys an update on our caterpillars because it's been like a week and a half. And I think the last time I showed you guys, we didn't have any caterpillars. We just had chrysalises. But we have two butterflies now, so there's one right there. And then there's one down there on that little wood right there. And we still have three that have not come out yet. So we haven't got to see them actually come out of the chrysalis. We just look and there they are. So I'm hoping that at some point we'll be able to observe one actually coming out. It just happens so quickly we miss it. But my kids are super excited about it and no praying mantises yet. So you can see the egg case is still in there. Okay, guys, guess what just happened? These, I just read this and it says the average watermelon is 25 pounds. <laughs> Well, once they start growing, we'll have to put it in the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you're not gonna be able to lift it. So, sorry I haven't been posting much lately, but I'm back and hopefully I will be more prepared since I haven't had my memory card for two days. Oh, did you find it? No, I didn't find my memory card, but, um, Anyways, I need to lay out some things for my kids to work on this morning and file some graded work. So yeah, I will check back in with you guys in a little while. I put five little seeds in wood. Do you spread them out? Yeah. You guys, I just got observed. I had no idea it was coming and my principal was in here for probably an hour and I am so impressed with how my kids worked, how they were on task. Everything was so smooth. I am just in shock. It just, it was just great. It's just, it was really good. So my kids are at lunch and when they get back, we are going to work on some ant. We've been talking about animal or not animal, but like insect life cycles and how when an insect is born, it looks different than its parents and we looked at the life cycle of an ant the other day. I actually found this on Teachers Pay Teachers. Um, and so we talked about the life cycle of an ant. They start from an egg and then there's a larva and then a pupa and then the adult. And so they have been learning about that and we've been talking about what is in an ant colony. And I don't have those papers right off hand, but Oh, here we go. And so I gave them this picture of an ant nest and they have to draw 
the colony and I told them that they needed to include all of the four stages of the life cycle in there because that's where all of that happens. And then I also found this mini booklet of ant awesomeness and it has a bunch of really fun things to do in here that have to do with the ant life cycle and some jokes and then they have to explain like the steps. So, like they have to write what's happening here and there's some silly ant jokes. Here they have to label the parts of an ant. Here are some facts about ant nests and then they have to draw some different things to the picture to match the facts. There are um, some information here about the different, you know, ranges of sizes. There's a maze. Here, they have to write these words over here in ABC order. This is just a little picture of some ants with a cupcake. A sketch of an ant, ant words. This is a map of where ants are in the world. And then for this one, they're going to take a guess and then I'm gonna give them the answer. Like how many years did the oldest reported queen ant live? Just some different ant things. Here's some more ant facts and then the ant life cycle and they have to put the number up there so that is what we are going to do when they get back but I'm going to go talk to my grade level I need to um, finish printing out my plans because at 1130 today I'm actually going to a school improvement team meeting and my kids have a sub for the rest of the day so I'm going to get those things ready and I'll catch up with you guys at the end of the day well, I told you guys I was going to check in after school, and it's after school. I'm actually on my way home, and look at this traffic. All the way up there, all back there, and we just want to get home. Yeah, so I'm about to have a temper tantrum. Okay. I had a sub come in at 11.30 today, and I had a school improvement team meeting until 3.00 which was pretty productive. I mean, we talked about a lot of stuff. Obviously, we were there for a long time, but um, when I got back up to my room, my sub hadn't left me any notes or anything. And of course, my room was a mess because every time I have a sub, it is. So I spent about 10 minutes or so cleaning up and then I talked to one of the, <laughs> teachers on my team for a little while and then got some things ready for tomorrow not a whole lot I didn't really stay that long but we're headed home now I need to I brought some papers home to grade so I will be doing that this evening and yeah so today wasn't much sorry about that it was a busy morning, and then of course I had that meeting, so I couldn't film. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully I will have some more footage tomorrow. Be sure to click on the thumbs up button down below to let me know if you like this video. Check out my other videos on my channel if you are interested, and go ahead and click on the subscribe button so you can see more videos from me in the future. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.